Hey guys, welcome back. It's your brother in Christ, Weston. Thanks for joining me today. So today's article comes out of End Times Headlines. Let's get into it. Okay, let's talk about Boeing. Um, there was a guy this year or last year, like late last year or early this year, that kind of randomly offed himself. So he was a whistleblower, and I think he was supposed to appear in court like a day he was supposed to testify, had more document. I forgot what it was. I forgot what it was, but I was like, that is super sketchy because a lot of stuff had been coming out about Boeing and their airplanes and about how the lack of protocols that they were supposed to be, um, uh, safety protocols that they were supposed to be passing and they were missing like upwards of at least 50 to 60% of the safety of the actual planes were, were not safe. I forgot what the number was. It was like, 11 out of 88 or some random number. Ah, don't quote me because someone's gonna be like, oh, you're just misinformation. Stop it. I'm not trying to do all that. Let's read. It says here, second Boeing whistleblower dies suddenly after claiming safety flaws ignored. Whistleblower who accused Boeing of ignoring safety flaws in the 737 MAX airplanes has died. Joshua Dean a former Spirit Aerosystems quality auditor claimed he was fired for flagging concerns about lax standards at the company's manufacturing plant in Wichita, Kansas. His sudden death at the age of 45 on Tuesday came after suffering from a fast-spreading infection, according to his family and lawyers. Dean's lawyer, Brian Knowles, said it is a loss to the aviation community and the flying public. Knowles told Al Jazeera... Where, where, where are they? They're kind of covering it. Interesting. He possessed tremendous courage to stand up for what he felt was true and right and raise quality and safety issues. Praise God for that. Aviation companies should encourage and incentivize those who do raise concerns. They should, 1,000%. Otherwise, safety and quality are truly not these companies' top priorities. Boeing came under fire for potentially fatal defects in the 737 MAX series. Alaska Airlines Flight 1282 a 737 MAX 9 was involved in a near disaster in January. Right, right, right. I had a fr I have a, a good friend of mine who was headed to Alaska. Alaska, it was either Alaska and Antarctica where one of his family members lives. And uh, and he was like, nope, I'm not taking any flights to Alaska right now because of this. Um, was involved in a near disaster in January when a door panel fell off mid-flight. Just think about that. Mid-flight and a door panel just... Whoosh, goes and I guess you're flying with that suction of air. I don't even know what that's like, dude, but I'm not getting out of my seat. That's insane. Um, passengers lost phones, clothes, and were nearly sucked out when the panel was sucked out, causing the plane to depressurize. Spirit Aerosystems has built, had built the door panel. So the guy who worked that built the door panel said that it was faulty to begin with on these airplanes uh, that uh, was, I guess, passing inspection for, for Boeing. I'm not sure. In a complaint filed with the Federal Aviation Administration, Dean accused Spirit of serious and gross quality failings at its production facility. He claimed that his concerns about a serious manufacturing defect has been ignored. Dean later testified in a shareholder lawsuit against the company. He, was be he believed he was fired from Spirit in April 2023 to discourage others from speaking out about concerns. A spokesperson for the company said the sudden loss is stunning news here at Spirit and for his loved ones. Dean is the second Boeing whistleblower to die this year. So it was this year. I'm just letting you know right now. Boeing? Um, yeah. I don't know if you're just doing something. You've, But you're an aviation company. So if we think about that and then we think about what just happens in the world in general and with things like this, right? People just randomly getting off, dark web type of stuff. You have a hitman, you get it paid for. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. And the fact that it's another whistleblower talking about safety concerns, that's insane. That's not good. This is not good. So I don't know what's going on, but Boeing is written all over it or Boeing is being targeted, right? And it just doesn't seem like the latter. It seems like, it just seems like that. It, that's what all the flags are pointing to. Like, hey man, I don't nothing about Boeing. I hardly ever fly. Um, I thought Boeing was super trusted and like, you know, top top tier amongst airplanes and whatnot. And um, I'm a fool. And I think anybody else is a fool for thinking that at that point because of hearing about this and then 
thinking about safety and quality inside an airplane as you're like, this thing's got to be uh, checked 20 times over just to make sure it leaves, it le before it comes back, it gets checked for whatever they do to, to make sure a plane can be turned around and back into the skies, right? Um, over and over again to make sure it meets the standard and above the standard before it gets uh, civilians on a flight and then taking off. That's, I would never, ever, ever want to be a part of an organization that would not take that in concern and then knowing that there are babies, there's children, there's babies, there's children, there's infants, there's whatever stage your child is at, women and men who are solely at the at the mercy of Boeing and, and their safety inspections, right? People who you probably never know of and this type of stuff happens, that's scary, super scary. Anyways, I don't know. Uh, uh, my eyes point to, to what it's looking at, right? Red flags deemed to be able, when you see a red flag, you need to take a look at the, everything around it that's surrounding that makes it a red flag, right? And then it's like, okay, hey, this is a red flag and these are the things that could be tied to it. And then you have that again. And I don't know what you, I don't know what to say here. Like, I don't, it, it seems like something nefarious is going on and who knows? So anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you all think. Uh, all I know is I'm not gonna be flying any, it doesn't matter what airplane it is at this point. I'm just like, nope, like I'm good, dude. I'll drive somewhere. I'm good. I don't feel like flying nowhere because I don't, I can't even trust that if if this is happening with Boeing and, and it could just be bad actors in Boeing for sure. It could be bad that I don't know what's happening or somebody's infiltrated a company, insider threats, that stuff really happens. Could be, right? But it also couldn't. And the fact that that's a part of the equation makes it feel like the latter of that, it also couldn't. It could be that we don't care. That's a possibility. That's, it's a bad, it, oh, it, it, it just overshadows everything. And so uh, it makes me afraid to get on an airplane, that's for sure. So any airplane. Um, yeah. So anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what y'all think. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe, like the video, and I will see you in the next one.